Hey there, fellas. In today's episode, I've got me this motor to play around with. It's off a lot of, with the gearbox, dirty as hell. And so here's what I have in mind. Now, we all know that after you start a completely cold motor, granted, we ain't getting the temperature down to minus 30 degrees, but even plus 10 centigrade should do it for us. And so what's a good way to observe what's going on with an engine? As in which spots get hotter than others, which of them are first to warm up, and what's the overall situation with heat distribution? Well, typically you'd be using an infrared camera, right? But there is another way to do this. Right here I've got me some heat-resistant, heat-sensitive paint. A while back we painted our uaz using similar paint, afterwards letting it sit in the sun, then we brought it back in and turned off the lights. Anyway, so it turns out that this paint can be charged not just with light, you can also get it to glow if you put some heat into it. So it'll reveal which areas are the first to start getting warm. This is some really high quality stuff, by the way, in that it can go through an unlimited number of cycles for up to a hundred years, meaning that for the next hundred years we won't need to repaint this engine. Alright, let's spray that paint on and see what it does for us. Let's do this. We here at Garage 54 are hosting a summer super sale, fellas. Get yourself a set consisting of a t-shirt and a baseball cap at a 20% discount. And on top of that, we'll throw in this cool-looking sticker on the house. This offer is going to be available for a limited time only, guys, so don't miss out. You'll find all of the links in the description down below. Applying heat-sensitive paint to an engine with warm-up in the dark. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Things are going very well so far, fellas. We cleaned the motor up, it's nice and tidy, it looks really good. Factory fresh, I'd even say. And so after giving it a clean, we painted it, got it looking even sharper. But why isn't it here? Well, the thing is that it's in that chamber where we've got the lights turned off as not to charge the paint prematurely. We want to be able to trace where the engine starts to warm up. So we got the whole thing painted to give us an immediate understanding. Then again, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to know that the exhaust manifold will be the first to give off a signature. But after that, we should start to see the glow expanding all across the engine block. I am super curious to see what this looks like. We never had a good look at what goes on through a thermal imaging camera. But this paint should clear things up, I reckon. Okay, now it's time to step into the dark room and light that engine up. Let's do this. You can fire it up now. There we are. So right away the exhaust pipe, I mean the manifold, is starting to heat up. It's gotten bright. We should really bring the revs down. Okay, the manifold is hot. Look at how clearly you can see it all. Let's go have a look at what's happening on the other side. As for this side, the cylinder head, it's starting to get warm. You can really see it heating up near the spark plugs. You can clearly tell how it's getting brighter, like considerably. The head is warming up rapidly, which is no surprise given it's made from aluminum. What else is going on here? Ah, 
Oh, well, it makes sense that it'd burn off with how hot the manifold gets. Even though it is heat resistant, it definitely can't handle these kinds of temperatures. Let's continue our observations. Looking through the camera, you get the impression that it is red hot. What else have we got? And the block is finally warming up, and quite evenly at that. The oil filter has gained a glow, and the entire block is starting to shine. It's getting brighter and brighter by the moment. I thought we'd see small spots getting warm. But it turns out that the engine warms up evenly. You can clearly see how the oil is warming up the entire engine block. The snout through which the coolant exits the cylinder head is quite a bit brighter. I take it the temperature there is a tad higher relative to the rest of the block. Otherwise, I don't see any irregularities. Look here, fellas, you can tell. Give it a bit of throttle. The entire cooling system, the thermostat, hoses, radiator, all of that has started to glow. This tells us that the coolant inside the radiator has gotten really hot. Though I don't see... Oh no, there we go. The thermostat is open and the whole thing is glowing. The lower part was dark while it was closed. But now after the thermostat has opened, we have full circulation inside the cooling system. This is terrific. Even the lower section of the carburetor is lit up. Amazing. You can see the whole thing in great detail. I'm enjoying this experiment. So here's what happened, fellas. After simply applying some heat-sensitive paint, without using any thermal imaging cameras, we were able to observe how the engine warms up after a cold start, and how evenly it does that. The first thing to get hot was obviously the exhaust manifold, then you got a few more things that follow, like the engine block and so on. Now, we assumed that it might start quickly warming up in a few isolated spots, with the temperature gradually equalizing as it continues to warm up, but that's not how it went down. As a matter of fact, it was even the entire way, though the aluminum cylinder head did get there a bit earlier. Then the entire block followed suit. Everything started getting hot. Like, literally the entire thing. Then the oil filter was getting brighter as the oil warmed up, and after that came the turn of the cooling system, with the hoses, thermostat and all of that other stuff getting hot. That slowly trickled into the radiator, and overall this made for something really spectacular. I don't think you would have gotten such a wonderful picture if you were looking through a thermal imaging camera. I'd say we're looking at a 107% success rate here. So that's all I have for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your comments and suggestions. Give us a big thumbs up.
The color gives you the impression that it got extremely hot. Alright, catch you later.